Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you how Microsoft Forms handles file attachments. Specifically, I want to explain the difference between uh, personal forms as well as group forms. All right, so uh, let me explain to you what I have here. So I have created a form, all right, uh, under my credentials. It's a candidate referral form. And what I would like to do is I would like for employees to fill out the form and supply you know, attach a resume of the candidate as well. Uh, so let's add the file upload question. Here we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, here we go. We we can even add uh, an additional um, you know text. Please uh, upload the candidate's uh, uh, you know resume. Here we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, so pretty much my form is ready. I'm uh, ready to share it with the world. So uh, I'm going to uh, click the share button, you know, generate the link. Uh, and let me show you, let's, uh, you know, pretend we have another employee filling in the form. Here we go. So, uh, you know, the other, some employee submits the form over here. And obviously, right, uh, this is where the user uh, uploads the file. By the way, I could make this column required. It's not, but I think it would be nice to make it required, right? So you you ha you always have an attachment, um, you know, file upload as part of the submission process. Here we go. Perfect. So let's just say this is the resume. Great. And now the file is uploaded. Submit. All right. So um, the user submitted the response. Now, what happens behind the scenes? Let me show you where. Um, where does the file, where, where, where does the response, where does the file reside? Um, so obviously all the responses will be over here, right? I mean, all the responses will be, um, um, will appear over here uh, in Microsoft Forms, but the actual file, the actual file, let me um, um, explain to you where it resides. If it is a personal form, right? Remember I created a form uh, under my credentials, uh, what happens is the file gets uploaded to your OneDrive, all right? So let me open OneDrive. Uh, if you navigate to your OneDrive, you will see a folder called Apps, all right? And under that folder, you will get to see another folder. And here is the form, all right? There are the different forms you have. So candidate referral form and all the different, you know, questions uh, that are part of that form. And here we go, look at this. This is the resume that uh, got uh, submitted, um, uh, you know, by uh, one of the users, all right? So uh, the bottom line is anytime you um, create a form uh, under your credentials, the files are going to get uploaded to your OneDrive. Now, let me show you uh, what will happen if it's a group form, all right? It's always the best practice, right? If it's a kind of a company-wide form to, um, not have it under your credentials, but um, uh, but uh, have it as a group form uh, so that multiple people can access it and make changes and all that. So I'm going to move this form to one of my, um, you know, groups, groups, Microsoft 365 groups. So uh, let me pick this one over here. I'm going to move it here. Here we go. Um, so I clicked on group forms. And here is the form that appears. Uh, by the way, if it doesn't appear right away, just you know, give it a few minutes. Uh, sometimes you also, because by default it shows you the recent uh, group forms, but sometimes you kind of need to expand. And just uh, you know, this is another way for you to access all your um, you know groups um, and, and forms. Uh, but here it is. It's a group form. All right. And again, you know, uh, now um, let's uh, you know fill it out again. All right, so I'm going to repeat the process. And uh, um, let's just say, you know, this is the candidate's name. We're going to upload another resume. Here we go. All right, and then click Submit. Now, where does this uh, form reside? All right, I mean, obviously, uh, obviously, if I go to responses, I mean, here is my third response, you see. I mean, essentially another uh, resume was uploaded, but where does it reside? Well, because it's a group form, obviously it's not going to be in your uh, OneDrive anymore. Uh, it's going to reside on a SharePoint site that is part of this group, all right? So here is a site, I moved it to this you know, group, 
uh, team ABC. And in that side, I have the same folder, just like in OneDrive, and it's the same kind of uh, you know hierarchy, right? Okay, Microsoft Forms. Here is my again, um, you know, uh, again form. Here we go. You just kind of have to navigate through all these different folders. Uh, it's uh, the the um, form name, then the question, uh, all right, and then the actual file itself. Um, so that's pretty much it. I mean, just something really important for you to note. Again, if it's a personal form that uh, the files. Uh, will get uploaded to your OneDrive. It's a, if it's a group form, the files will get uploaded to the default library of the group site uh, that is, uh, you know, obviously tied to that group, to that form. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.